In the mornings lately, I've been using this foam piece that uh, it's usually my window covering for when I leave the dog in the vent. I've been putting it across here to keep little cruisy bear from sleeping in the front seat. All right. Looks a little overcast today. No matter. It's van life. Every day is a nice day. Right down here at Jericho Beach in Spanish Banks in Vancouver, there's a community center called West Point Gray Community Center that has a free shower. And I know I already pay for a 24 hour chain gym membership, um, but that's like 15 minutes from where I am. And this one is like right around the corner. So I'm gonna go get myself a free shower this morning. <laughs> I got the funk, like, I get the funk sometimes, you know what I mean? And expect that when you get in the van. You're just gonna get the funk. Embrace the funk, you know what I mean? Good morning. I just need to use the shower. How you doing, man? Right. It's one of those big open showers, but you know it did the trick. Oh, wow, did that ever feel good. Thank you for the shower. See you later. All right, can't complain. It wasn't a hot shower, it was warm. But it was free, right? In the middle of the fields, I see your tail wiggling. How's van life, Cruz? Huh? How's van life treating you? So many things to smell, so many things to see. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi, crazy. Hi, crazy bear. Look at this day. It's been back to back, nothing but beautiful days here in Vancouver. We had a tiny bit of rain yesterday, but it was like this majority of the day. Um, after my meetup the other day, I was just so full of just, I don't know, like love and it was just a great feeling to see that many people and the diversity of people that came out to the meetup. So thank you to everybody that made the trip out here, especially to those who made the super long trip. Um, it meant the world to me to meet all of you. And uh, there's been some of you that I met at the meetup that I really wish I would have had time to spend more time with. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have, you know, taken that extra moment. But things are so fast paced in those scenarios it's really hard to give everybody the individual attention so um, if anybody came to the meetup and they felt like they didn't get enough out of me please email me my emails are in the links of this video so if you came there and you want to talk more um, I would love to because there were some people there that I would super love to connect with um, it was an amazing day just freaking amazing so since I'm just kind of having a chill moment today, I wanted to make uh, a video for you to let you know what's going on with me, what's happening in the next week, what's happening for the rest of this entire summer. I got some big travel plans coming up this summer and uh, I'm just, I'm excited for it. Um, in the next week, I'm doing some things for myself as well too. Um, now that I have my $5,000 cushion for just in case anything happens to my van, please nothing happen to my van in the next few weeks, please. Um, I'm gonna be putting some money aside for myself to do a few things that I would like to do for me. Um, one of those things is getting another tattoo. So I'm going out to Penticton next week. So the guy who did my, my disco one on my hand, he is going to be doing some more work on this arm starting next week. And he gave me a price that I couldn't say no to as long as I vlogged it. <laughs> Pretty excited. And uh, he's excited to have me come in and film there and see what I can make out of like a full tattoo video. So I'm pumped up for that. But um, I'm doing this next week. So on the 13th and 14th of June, I will be in Penticton. Um, and I'm probably going to you know depend on what goes on that week because i really don't have any plans besides going out to get my tattoo um here's another thing as well too on the 17th i'm going to be back in lillouette bc because um i don't know if you guys know but i do have some rust on my van 
and there's some big chunks of it that's pretty freaking bad. And I've been hesitating on doing it because, you know, I don't know how many more years I'm gonna have the van and do I really wanna put the money into repairing those kind of things if I'm only gonna have the van for maybe two more years before I happen to upgrade, I don't know. So what happened was, is I was in Lillooet and I went and talked to the guy at the body shop in Lillooet, a great dude. He's like an old older guy that just, it's just him in the shop, that's it. And I talked to him and um, he gave me a price. I was like, you're kidding me, right? That's 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 only for this piece? He goes, no, that's all do the whole side for that. I'm like, say what? <laughs> so I'm going to be getting a little bit of the body work done on my van piece by piece as I can afford it. So um, I'm we're gonna tackle the little piece right by my door. So there's some rust pieces by my door um, that are gonna need to be cut out, new metal welded in. And uh, the price he gave me was $350 to do that, to do pretty much between my front tire and my back tire, that whole section, 350 bucks. I was like, okay, let's do it. I can afford that. So what we're gonna do is if the price quotes for the rest of my jobs on the van stay around the same, I'm gonna slowly tackle it little bit by little bit. Um, because if I can do all the rust on the bottom, because I know my back quarter on the opposite side of my van is rusted right out, it's gone. That whole bottom quarter needs to be re-welded. So, so I'm gonna be getting that stuff done soon. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't wanna put too much into this van. It is an old 2004 and it's doing the job now. It's rolling around, it's doing me well. And that's just cosmetic stuff, but it is a bit of an eyesore especially the quarter on the other side. Ah, let's just get it fixed, right guys? Before it starts chewing my van to pieces. <laughs> Before I wake up one morning and it's just like, I ate the whole side of my van and I can look out the side by my bed. That'd be kind of nice though. <laughs> so um, that's that. And uh, travel plans, I am, my daughter has said that she's okay if I leave for a few months this summer. Uh, where, where are you going? I'll take uh, one cream, one sugar, extra large. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that was rad. Someone drove by and like, you want a coffee? Absolutely. Uh, super cool because I really could use one. Uh, <laughs> I love the van life community. The people are just amazing and just, come on, man. How often do your neighbors leave the house if you're living in a house or an apartment saying, hey, man, would you like me to grab you a coffee this morning? <laughs> This is why I wake up every day in such a freaking good mood. How can you not? How can you not when you're surrounded with this much positive energy and good people that uh, actually have the time to talk to you? And uh, van life definitely has that. Everybody just kind of like, they're very, they're very sincere. That's the word I'm looking for. But they really honestly, when they ask you, hey man, how's your day? They actually have the time to sit there and they're serious. They want an answer. How's your day? Right? They actually like want to know the answer. How many people in your day living in a house or an apartment, if you're still in one, they're like, hey man, how you doing? And give you no time to answer. Van life's not like that. It's, it's a really, really rad thing. Like the connection is real. And uh, it's the people that are in van life that just make this lifestyle so freaking amazing. Okay, travel plans. What's going on, Chrome? Um, so my daughter said she's cool if I leave for three months. I'm gonna try and squeeze that out to four months. I'll talk to her about that this weekend. Um, I'm gonna be traveling deeper into Canada a little bit. I don't actually have a plan, but I've been looking at things. I've been like, okay, cause I, I like to plan my trips. Here's how I plan my trips. I Google where the destination is that I'm thinking about going to and it tells me, okay, that's 66 hours from here. Can you hear that? Cruise once, come outside, one sec.
Uh, you want to come be a part of the video? Good morning, pal. Nice to see you awake this morning. <laughs> hey. He's like, when I wanted to come outside, this is not what I was thinking, Dad. Hmm? All right, buddy. <laughs> okay, so how I plan my travels is I take a look at a destination and I'm like, okay, if this is 66 hours away from me, that's a 66 day drive. <laughs> yeah. I like to plan my trip so I progress forward one hour more every day, giving me time to only drive an hour in the morning and the rest of that day to explore anything within that hour. Meaning that I don't miss a single piece of any of my travels anywhere I go. So depending on my time on this trip, because I know traveling deeper into Canada that late in the summer, because I'm probably going to be leaving right after my daughter's birthday, which is July 25th. I'll probably be leaving like 26th as soon as her birthday's done and uh, hit the road. So I know I'm gonna get a few months out because out that way, winters are not <laughs> like they are here in Vancouver. So I'm probably gonna hit into some like snowy areas. I'm gonna be leaving, I'm gonna be traveling August, September, October, and I would love to travel November too and be back here for December 1st daughter's approval pending so the reason why I said 66 hours is I was sitting there yesterday googling I'm like huh Nova Scotia oh that's a 66 hour drive so maybe I'll go all the way across from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean it's the Atlantic over there isn't it so I don't know, but I know Chromie is going to be crossing Canada a little bit. I don't want to rush this trip. I'm going to be driving a little bit every day. So if I happen to only make it to the other side of the province next door in that trip, so be it. Um, so no real plans, but I will be scheduling a ton of meetups on this trip. So if you're not an Instagram person, please get on Instagram. Um, follow my Instagram. The links in the, to my Instagram are down below because that's where I post on Instagram. And then I think my Instagram posts automatically share to Facebook, but I'm not a Facebook guy. So Instagram, 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 Instagram. Um, I also do post my meetups on the community section here on YouTube, but I know people don't always get the community section notification. If you don't know what the community section is, go to my Van City Van Life page and you'll see right on the top, it says community. If you push the community, hey, see, nice friendly van dwellers. <laughs> that was Rob, I think that's his name, Rob. He brought me a big thing of Cobb's breads, like pastries. Cobb's is like a bakery thing. Woo, he brought it out to me yesterday. I smashed the whole box last night, I ate it all. Fat guy, just like. <laughs> And Gus in a bus was with us and Gus in a bus was saying, it's like, it's funny, Chrome, on your videos, you always show people that you're eating like salads and stuff. But every time I see you're stuffing a damn donut or a pastry in your mouth. Okay, people, we're out of here. We're done. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this day. Um, I've got some really rad videos coming out. Um, I filmed a van tour with a absolutely beautiful, sweet, adorable and fun couple. And that's coming out. And I also filmed an ambulance tour. Yep, an ambulance. The cool thing about this ambulance is it has the Ghostbusters logo on it. And it's also a big jacked up four wheel drive. Come on, four wheel drive ambulance with a freaking, looks like the Ghostbusters mobile. Yeah, that thing is dope. That one's coming out soon. I don't know when I'm gonna release it. I might. I got, I got some things coming up. Anyway, everybody, we're going to let you go before I start babbling your day off because I'm sure you guys got better things to do than to sit here and watch me talk. Um, so, yeah, hit the thumbs up, you guys. Hit that notification bell so you don't get missing out on anything. And subscribe if you're not. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this right to the very, very end. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye.